What's going on, family? It's your boy, the one and only man, Mr. Solution. Back in the building with another video, man. Y'all know what we got, baby. Got a good one for y'all today. Got a good one for y'all today, man. Today in this episode, baby, we gonna show y'all the ins and outs, the inside and outside of the trailer. I'ma describe the whole overview of the outside of the trailer, all the parts and different things that you got going on. I'ma explain the compartments. I'ma explain the scully box, the scully cords and stuff like that. The vapors, you know what I'm saying? All the different things that's going on with the trailer. And I'ma go on top and I'ma show y'all the inside of the trailer. Now, I, man, listen, I challenge y'all. Search in YouTube and look for somebody that is showing y'all the inside, the inside of the trailer. Find that video for me, man. If y'all find that video, man, hit the uh, send it to me, bro. Send it to me. So, with that being said, baby, we got a good one for y'all, man. Y'all already know I never disappoint with these videos, man. Make sure y'all like comment subscribe to the channel baby because we ain't going nowhere man we in this thing we in it to stay baby we teaching a lot of people different things and people are learning from this channel so with that being said man i ain't gonna hold y'all too long bro let's go and get on to the video man and rock with your boy all right all right i got another good one for y'all so in today's episode i'm going to explain the tank the compartment sizes, the different intricacies of the tank and what it all does. And um, we're going to go through it. We're going to get in depth. So right now I'm not dropping any gas because I want to shoot this video and I want to focus on this video. So let's talk about first off the compartments and the compartment sizes. So this compartment right here, which is my 3400 compartment, this is basically the front of this tank, which is up there. It matches up there. 3400 3400 now this is my second compartment 1200 that's about right here 1200 compartment let me back up so y'all can get a full view so i got the 3400 then the 1200 my third compartment which is right here 2000 that one is right here okay and my last compartment, which is the 2600, this is my fourth compartment. That one is right here. Now, all tanks are not the same. For my company, for the most part, all tanks are like this. A lot of companies have uh, four compartments. Some companies have five compartments. I've even seen six and seven compartments. So just get with your company and see how their tank sizes are i'm giving y'all a brief overview of our tank sizes so we got four compartments the 3400 the 1200 the 2000 compartment and the 2600 it's also a tank size uh, in our company that's a 3500 and uh, i believe this is 1100 this is a 2000 and that is a 2700 so it's, it's different sizes for uh, different trucks. I mean, different tanks. But this is the brief overview of that. That's the, the compartment sizes of the tanks. Now we're gonna move on to the next thing. So in this door right here, this is how I open up my compartments. So I will pull this. You'll hear everything open up. This is my first compartment opening up. My second compartment opening up my third and my fourth so i'm not dropping right now so this is indicating that i have gas in my compartment so as you can see one is right here the second compartment right here third compartment right here fourth compartment right here so this indicates that i have gas in there the bottom sensors this is a uh, this is my scully box this is called the scully box and this tells me if i have gas in my tank so i'm gonna show y'all the inside of the tank as well and show y'all the sensors so like i say 
This is the bottom sensor. I'm gonna show y'all the top sensor that's in the tank. And this is where I hook up at the rack my Scully card. I hook up my Scully card right here. And this is to ground the um, truck and to read this Scully box. <clears throat> so the Scully card is to ground the truck and to read the Scully box and make sure we are not overfilling the tank. All right. This is my trailer's toolbox for my trailer. It has all my different um, things that I need, my caps for my diesel hoses, my extensions for uh, if I need to hook up two hoses at one time. It has my um, adapters and everything. I got spare, um, I got spare spill pads, just in case I have a spill. I have my bucket, just in case I have a, a leak or something like that. I could use my bucket and, you know, grab, catch that leak. So we're gonna move it on over. This right here is my vapor recovery. I showed y'all this on many other videos. So I would take this off if I'm at the rack and I would hook up the vapor hose to this. So it'll flow, um, the vapors will flow uh, basically so I can load up my truck. Because if you don't hook up your vapor hose and you try to load up your truck, it'll like, it'll pressure up. So this relieves the pressure for you to hook it up. All right. So one important thing I want to show y'all, well, y'all know, if y'all watched my previous videos, y'all know these is uh, my vapor, my vapor uh, attachments for my vapor recovery hose. So y'all can see I got my vapor hose hooked up and then I got it open. So this side is closed because this side is not hooked up. And then I got my um, my cones. Also, if you got a trailer, you know, um, a tanker, you have to have a fire extinguisher hooked up to it. You always have to have your fire extinguisher hooked up to it. So we got that for the most part. Let me go around. Before I go to the top, I want to show y'all some other things. Let me show y'all. All right, so we are gonna come over on this side. This is my ladder that I can climb up to the top to see the top. And this button right here is an emergency shut off button. This button is if I, if all my valves and stuff are open and I, it's not closing, I can come uh, push this, I can push this in and it'll shut everything down. It'll close everything up. So I don't have no gas leaking out, out of the tank. So, these are the different compartment. Um, uh, I don't know how you even would say it, but this is my first compartment leading into my first compartment. This is how I look at the bottom. This is how a tanker looks at the bottom. Now this is my lift axle control. This right here is how these wheels right here are go up or down. Right now, it's um, I got it to where it'll go up once, once I let out all my gas. So I leave it like that because I don't like having all the wheels down because I kind of drive a little faster. But if it like rains or anything, then I drop those wheels, and I will come to this box. I will open it up, and I will push that in. That lets my wheels down and they'll stay down. But right now, I got it out. So well, uh, once I finish loading my truck, it'll all uh, um, it'll just lift up. My my back wheel will lift up. All right, I think we're ready to go to the top. That was kind of a brief overview of the tank. Now I may have missed some things, so just bear with me if I miss some things. I'll probably cover it in another video, but I'm just trying to get the main thing. So right now we're about to head to the top, and I'm gonna take y'all along a ride with me. Let's go. So I know a lot of people may wonder like, man, what it look like inside the tank? So this is why I'm making this video because I was that person. I always wanted to know what it looked like at the top of the tank and what it looked like inside the tank. So this is what it looked like on top. This is the tanker from the top. So y'all can see we at the top of the tanker. So this is my first compartment, my second compartment, third compartment, my fourth compartment. So we're gonna open up <clears throat> and look inside. 
Let's see what it looks like in my first compartment. Let's check it out. Stuff ain't easy now. All right, we opening up the first compartment. Now, as y'all can see, we got a lot of gas in here. We filled to the brim. I don't want all that gas to waste everywhere. So I'm letting it come out. Alright, so this is the inside of the tanker. Hold on, let me cut the light on for y'all. Alright, so this is what we have. We got regular in this tank. I can't really go too into it. Let me see. Kind of show y'all. We fill to the top, baby. That's the inside of the tank. And this right here is my sensor this is my top sensor on my in my scully car thing so if, if the gas was to touch this my sensor will go off and i wouldn't be able to load this compartment up anymore all right so that's my first compartment we got all regular and this gas stank Ugh. we're gonna close that up right there Let's go to our second compartment. Let's open her up. See what we got. So my first compartment we had regular. Second compartment I believe we got diesel. Ugh. Oh, I'm tripping. All right. I know it looks like it's red, but it's not red. It's actually green. This is Exxon brand diesel. So this is my second compartment. This is what it looks like inside. Let's see if I can go in there a little bit. See, it's actually green if you look at it. Again, this is my sensor. So this is the second compartment. I only got a thousand gallons in this one. You see how small it is. This is the smallest compartment. I don't want to move the camera too much, but I'm just trying to show y'all. This is what it looks like in the inside. The gas comes out the bottom right there. All right. And that's diesel in that one. So that's our second compartment. I'm going to close her up. We got our third compartment. Let's see what we got in here. In this compartment, I believe we have super. All right, so y'all can y'all can kind of see the difference with uh, diesel, regular, super. So this is my third compartment. We got super, again, we got the sensor right there. This is what it looks like in the inside. Only got a thousand gallons in this one. So y'all can see we ain't full to the top. This is where this stuff is at. All right, that's the third one. That's a premium in that one. And now we got our last and final compartment. Our fourth compartment. Uh, let's see. That thing 
full to the top. All right, this is regular. So this is our last compartment. There go our sensor. This thing is full. I can't really stick my phone in there. This is how it looks. All right. So now y'all gotta y'all gotta look up the inside and out of the trailer. Detail description. Hope y'all like this video, man. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. All right, so we got it all. I showed y'all the first, second, third, and fourth compartments, inside and out. And I don't think nobody ever can show the inside and out of the trailer. I would show y'all what it look like when it's empty. I may have to make that for another video, man. It's climbing up here. It ain't hard, but I, I ain't trying to do this. I'm gonna be honest. So, oh, I gotta go back up there. All right, so that's the overview. This is the bottom view of how it looks. Y'all saw the top, you know what I'm saying? So if you like this video, make sure y'all hit that like, comment, subscribe to the channel, baby. Mr. Solution is here to stay, I promise you. We in here, baby. Rock with your boy, man. How y'all like that video, baby? Come on, man. Y'all already know what we do over here. I don't know why. Hey, don't be surprised, baby. We do it, man. We got plenty of videos, bro. Y'all can go check it out, man. Hey, we keep the same energy every time, bro. We ain't letting up. We ain't letting up, man. So, if y'all like that video, y'all already know what to do, man. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel, baby. We here to stay. We here to stay, man. So, if y'all got, if y'all want to know anything about, you know, how to load up at the rack and stuff like that, I'm going to put my playlist for that right there. If y'all want to know, you know, my recent, most recent video, I'm going to drop that right here. So, with that being said, man, y'all know, bro, I'm going to see y'all next week, man. We out of here, baby. Peace.